It's summertime. Ladies looking hot, shaking up what they got. Come on. Hello Beauty and Beauties, welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new to my channel, I want to say a huge welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you want to see more on this gorgeous hair and these new products, lace glue and remover, please continue to watch. So today's review is going to be on this gorgeous hair that was a collaboration with Janet Collection and their new line of lace glue and remover. Now they sent me out this gorgeous unit and their new Escher Luxury Fashion firm lace bond lace wig glue this is water resistant so that is a plus they also sent me out the Escher wig fashion lace bond remover and it says for effortless clean removal and for external uses only in a two ounce bottle now these are the actual products and the full size and as far as the glue you get 1.6 fluid ounces for this one and I believe this retails for about $20. And I'm not sure the retail price for this, but I'll leave everything in the description box below. When they sent me out this glue, I was also curious because I originally was gonna get the absolute, but then I was like, you wanna save your edges? Kinda of scared me and the description. So I said, okay, let me go ahead with the firm. But then I went ahead and picked up the absolute anyway so I could figure out which one I like the best. So I purchased this on eBay through Hera Remy, I believe. I'll leave the description box where I purchased this and we can get these products down below. So they sent me out this unit for a review and this is from their Princess Lace Wig Collection. It says 100% human hair blend, premium blend, and this is Princess Charlotte Wig. And I have it in the color OET1B slash Berg. Let me show you a stock card. Now this is a lace front wig, so you get a 13 by four parting space. So it's air to air lace. You do have to remove the lace from the front. It is a soft lace, so keep that in mind. It comes with two combs at the temple, one comb at the back, and adjustable straps. So let me go ahead and give you the close up of this hair and the color. And here I wanted to show you the line. So this is my natural scalp, and this is the new cap underneath his hair. Now this is dark rooted throughout, only on the top of this wig and within the 13 by 4 parting. So if you come anywhere back here, you see it's red. So just within here, you do have your dark roots. Like I said, you can park this pretty much anywhere on this. So it does come with the baby hairs in here. You just you know bring them down, but I brushed them up. I also want to get into the fact that these lace is pretty long. So this ear tab comes over my ear, literally like here on both sides. So keep that in mind. You may have to either tuck it behind your ear like so or cut that piece off. It is a little shiny. I would suggest putting a little press powder and it has very, very light yakky texture, very light yakky, more of a line of almost bone straight, but a little bit of yakky texture in it. So this is a color, absolutely gorgeous. At the bottom of this wig, you do get like a natural body wave just as it hits the bottom, like shoulder length, you get that natural body wave as you can see. As far as shedding, I did experience a little shedding after removing the lace. As far as tangling, I am experiencing minimal tangling, but this is a long hair unit, so a lot of times they will tangle. So let me go ahead and give you that 360, so I'll see up front. Also with this unit, you do get a little bit of lace at the back, which you can cut off and I'm in with a little bit of baby hair. So if you want to put this up, I guess you can. We're going to go ahead and get into the glue portion of this video and then I'll be back on my pros and cons. Well, first off, if you're going to apply your lace and you're going to use glue or any kind of adhesive, I suggest you put applying your lace glue or adhesive before you apply your makeup. So you don't have to worry about any oils causing any issues when it comes to applying that hair or making the wig not stick. If you do have makeup on, it's get yourself some alcohol. I suggest using something more of the line of like 50%, 70%. It's better for adhesion. And yeah, that's what I suggest. I have 50% alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the alcohol and clean up where I want to apply my wig down and then add the glue. So first thing you wanna do is pull back your wig in the position where you want it. Make sure all the baby hairs are back. I'm just gonna apply the glue here. So what I'm gonna do is apply one side firm and then one side absolute glue. 
So I'm gonna start off by taking my alcohol and cleaning my cotton pad and I'm gonna clean my hairline when I'm gonna apply it. So I'll let that dry. Make sure your hair is back before application. You don't want to get any straight hairs in the glue. I'm only going to apply it here to where my temples meet. I'm not going to apply it on my air tab because then I will have to go ahead and, and apply adhesive tape for it in order for it to stay down. So I'm going to start off with the firm on my left side. I'm going to use a synthetic brush because I don't want to use my hands. So I'm going to start off with the firm. In just case I didn't mention, this wig is big head friendly. So I know someone's going to ask me that question, so I just want to get it out there. What you might want to do is also clip this hair back because obviously it keeps getting in my way. And you know, I'm with that right now. So we'll go ahead and clip that back. And I'm going to go ahead and clip this side back as well to get it out the way. So now it's completely out of the way. Now that the alcohol is dried, I'm going to go ahead and apply the firm. Just a thin layer. my brush make sure that coat is nice and even that dry for maybe 15 seconds before I go in with another coat and sometimes when applying your lace you might want to work in sections to get it adhered down faster so I'm gonna go ahead now apply starting to dry apply another coat and smooth that out as well. You can always do a clean up afterwards because I know it looks a little, a little messy. At this point, we're just trying to see if this is gonna hold. So I can care less about the makeup right now. It says do not wait to completely dry, but it's not yet tacky either. Right, it's a little tacky, let's see about the application. Now it is starting to stick now after the second coat or third coat. One rule of thumb is to make sure that when you're putting this on or putting the glue on, make sure that you wait for it to get almost tacky but not completely dry before applying a second coat. I think that's where I went wrong at. I got too happy because it absolute dries like this and gets tacky like this and then I've been pressing it down for maybe about a minute or two I'm using the end of a comb or a rat tail comb or you want to use like your yeah, makeup brush on the ends or whatever and then you want to keep just pressing going through massaging it in and pressing it into the lace so let's see what we got and then we're going to move on to the next one as you can see I didn't put any glue here so that's why you don't see that tacked down but for the most part it is tacked down let's get a close up of that so almost completely dry but you can fix that with a little makeup and a little powder almost completely transparent and that just could have been because of the way I apply it I should have waited to got a little more tacky before I got happy and added more glue but for the most part the ones up here are tacked down and clear up here so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the absolute. So I'm gonna apply this, like so. This glue tries extremely fast, guys. So keep that in mind. As you can see, it's almost drying completely right here. As far as the glue is concerned, the firm has a smell of Elmer's glue. This one has a slight odor of Elmer's glue mixed with something else. Before it's completely dry, I'm gonna add another coat. And it is already sticking, you guys. Now this one, you want to wait till it gets tacky before application. And as you guys can see, it is almost completely drying. Jesse, right here. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Like, do you see this? Let me get a little closer so you can see that. This thing is sticking to my forehead. Again, it's coming with it. Look at this. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply that down. This is what the results are. Don't mind the air tabs because I didn't really put any there because I wasn't trying to stick those down. I always have trouble with the air tabs anyways. Let's get into this. So it did leave a little bit of a residue and that just because I, I had to reapply it. 
but it is honestly not that bad. You can just apply a little foundation with uh, makeup to that area and it'll blend in seamlessly. As far as the hold, the hold is absolutely perfect. Let's see. This is not going anywhere. Look at this. My skin is lifting with it. Look at this. Look at this. And this one is starting to lift here. So this didn't completely stay down. So I am sort of sweating because I don't have my AC on. So you see my T-zones, you know, getting a little oily. If you're not as sweaty as I am, it probably will work. Or maybe I should have tried it with my AC on and then let it cure. You know, I don't know. But this one is definitely down. It's probably gonna be my new favorite. So let's go ahead and try to remove this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use this Escher glue remover. This smells almost like acetone mixed with like oil. That's the smell I'm getting, like acetone mixed with some kind of oil. So it is greasy. Like I said, this is not going nowhere. So we're gonna head spray that. I'm gonna spray it from the top, coming down. And tilt my head to the side and rub that in. So the lace is let's see, already lifting. Yep. The lift, it, it lift almost immediately. So that is perfect. Let's try, since this side is still tacked down from the other glue, we're gonna try this side. I'm gonna tilt my head. I will suggest tilting your head because you, I don't think you wanna get this stuff in your eyes. So I'm gonna tilt and rub. Let's see. And it's up. So it did come off fairly quickly with both the firm and the absolute. So that's absolutely perfect. So it did lift fairly quickly with the remover, actually really quickly with the remover. I suggest tilting your head and then spraying a little bit and then massaging the remover in. So it did leave a little residue on the lace in certain areas, there's pretty much none there, but in certain areas it did leave a little residue wash it afterwards wash that area of the lace afterwards and then you're good to go for reapplication. my pros and cons for the glue is that it does dry but it takes a little longer than 30 seconds to dry completely clear as far as the firm and the absolute i absolutely literally would play on words absolutely love the absolute it dries really quick the application process is pretty much beginner friendly. The mess is not really that messy. When I purchased my group from Hair Remix store on eBay, they did send me this pamphlet explaining the different holds for these glues. And they are both water resistant, not waterproof, guys, water resistant. So it's a difference. So it states that the Lace Bond Absolute is for extended use, super strong, super safe. It's great for wig enthusiasts, provides a strong yet comfortable hold, will withstand heat, humidity, and sports activities. Now, as far as the Lace Bond Firm, it states that save your edges, secure your wig for light casual use, great for beginners, gentle on the skin and the edges, will withstand heat, humidity, and everyday activities. So one says sports activities and the other one says everyday activities. So the absolute suggested wear time is from one to three weeks, but with proper care and handling, extra absolute can last up to a month. And as far as the firm, it says the wear time is suggested to wear 24 hours, but with proper care, the extra firm can last up to a week. As far as the dry time with absolute, it states that the glue will become completely dry within 30 seconds or less, must wait until glue becomes tacky before putting on your lace front. And as far as the dry time for the firm, it states that glue will become dry within 30 seconds or less, must place the lace front directly on glue, but do not wait until tacky. So it says do not wait until tacky for the firm and wait until tacky for the absolute. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. I try to be as thorough as I can. As far as the glue, I absolutely love the absolute. I think the dry time, it's super fast. I love the fact that it's pretty much clear, transparent. As far as the firm, the firm is great for every day. The dry time is a little bit more off as far as when it dries clear. But yeah, other than that, I do love both products. I think either one will work for you depending on your activity level. Let me know what you guys think of this product, this hair. I'll leave all the information in the description box below and along the link to purchase. I want to say a huge thank you to Janet Collection for sending me out these products to review this week. Also, please like, subscribe. Please don't forget to share this video so I can keep coming to you with more content. And as always, say fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, bye. I've been up all night trying to get there rich. I've been work, 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 working on my shit.